G'day guys, welcome to the 1v1 Valkyrie Tournament and we hit to see uh, Nat Nat versus Shotta in the final stages in round one. Shotta going as the Andex, a very good sight to see, haven't seen them played a lot, should be interesting to watch the buys. We have a regular squad from him and a few single SMGs, they're going to the center mostly and Nat Nat from UK on the other end going in a sod squad plus a lot of single SMGs. Deadly SMGs for the Hungarians, the Danuvia. See him running with that big uh, assault rifle looking gun. That's actually an SMG. And in the center, let's see the engagement happen. Most of the forces are coming into the center for a shootout. Regular squad does have the long range ability with the rifles and the machine gunner. They're not going to try and punish shot out. Oh, get shot out. And the grenade gets thrown back from shot out. And he's got a guy down in the river. And he's able to now threaten that nat from below. No, uh, not too much damage being done to the forces on both ends now, but Natnat's got an interesting push here. He sent four SMGs beyond the Eastern Point River and may threaten the flank of Shota. Shota had not relocating yet. Machine gun in great position. And interesting to see there's a Vickers VGO now on the Anzacs regular squad. So there's been a patch recently, so I think it was about a week ago since the last tournament match, so this may be a recent change. It's Pretty good. It's two two stars, so that's definitely not the lead MG, so it looks like the and that's coming to Vickers Vigio, a lethal gun. But now that punishment will oh, be punishment with the flamethrower as well. That has got another grenade coming perhaps. And this guy has made good use of his inventory most like most definitely. And has taken out almost double squad because video is still okay. But now it's gonna be threatened. It's good. Now that's moving his guys to the right side to get a good shot off him, make him pin down. And some more assault squads coming from that to the center. Militiaman from Shotta. Bit of a one sided buy here. Militia versus the Salt Squad. Interesting to see, perhaps. Oh, look at that guy gets uh, taken out by a grenade. So the Vickers Vigio is down. But Shotta does have two guys in the river way to slow down the cap of the center. There's grenades. But Militia already being torn up. The Nuvia SMGs. This is a perfect range for the SMGs and the Hungarian. Uh, SMG will definitely punish these militiamen quite easily as you can see. Now getting pinned down, now picked off one by one. So second by, definitely uh, definitely in the way of Hungary. Shot is still not buying a second one, but he still manages to hold the center flag for a bit to take the score to 5-0. And that, that now finally capping the center. So the buy was a bit slow because he's going the Stuart. Oh, interesting buy. Not a uh, infantry killer, so he's using his stuart to perhaps do a charge with his HE shell. This is a classic risky shot of play. No line of sight yet, but what is that? Is that 80 rifle? Oh, close range, look at that! Oh, the shot uh, with uh, Tukaki there, charges straight into the solar thumb, and the stuart couldn't withstand the 80 rifle shot. That's one of the most powerful 80 rifles in the game. I think the most powerful, other than the guard's rifle. And here is the scout car, also one special uh, one special point unit, also one special point unit from Antex. Proving very effective. Excuse me. The last grenade misses. Oh, that, that, that does have that Cheba. Interesting. Let's see if the 50 cal can take out the Cheba. Oh, can it or can it not? I don't know. Oh, it's a, I don't know if it can, to be honest. This is just 30 cows, I think. I mean, that was probably a poorly, poorly uh, thought out buy from Shota. Because the Hungarians always come up with the Trevor pretty much every single time. There's no real decision making there unless um, the, one, the one chance, 1% one chance you want to go to the infantry call. But here's the Trevor. Still comes with a 20 mil in this patch. So two unfortunate buys of the militia and the Stuart, and the Stuart used very carefully, and then straight to the scout car getting uh, wrecked. But now he's the boys from Shutter. Easy put away from the side. And now there's some hope for Shutter's advance. But he's still trying to hold on to his eastern point now. Nat Nat pushing off with the assault squad. Shutter coming with the Anzacs. The Anzacs would be one special. Perhaps these are the volunteer rifles. These are the volunteer rifles in the the low tier squad with the trench Lee Enfield rifles. They're quite a numerous one. 
And now uh, pushing off Nat Nat, Nat Nat now moving back, retreating to the stone wall. But uh, Shadow should hold this for now. Nat Nat coming up with the assault squad, going to keep the pressure on, maybe assault the eastern once again. Center still not uh, being played. Shotta now succumbing to more standard play, or less risky play. Going to trust the Olicon to shoot from afar. A less risky, risky choice to take out the infantry behind the cover. But I uh, need some AT weaponry soon, perhaps. On the other end, another chopper. <laughs> it's the thing with Hungarians, the pressure they can mount on the opponent. Uh, it doesn't matter if you don't have numerical superiority or much infantry to assault. The chopper can do all the work right now. I'm not doing too much damage to the guys behind the right glow. Staying a bit cautious. <laughs> oh, he, he saw that. A chiver taken out again quite easily with the 20 mil. This time. That, that dispatches the guys through a grenade. Oh, shot. Well, he can't. Powerless to actually shoot down the little decline, so this guy can cap without any interference. Jebo also uh, actually still alive and able to turn its turret, I think, to even... Yep, it's turning its turret, so its gut and turret is still okay. Tractor collateral damage. Olicon needs to finish this off. And that, that, uh, almost to the three cap and still can get that. Six minutes in, five to ten. Turan. 40 millimeter. Counter to the Olicon. Still no anti tank weaponry yet from Shutter, and MP situation uh, says that as well. Perhaps even go the Bofors could probably take out the Turan at the right angle. Let's see this nice, uh, interesting, sneaky play. <laughs> These two guys staring at each other on hold fire. Check Still there. To round three on the hunt. Olicon going to the right now just to cap it. That that uh, must have uh, direct controlled that guy to kill the kappa of oh, shotters. 20, 40 millimeter from tour, the tour round for moving, coming down to the center. Now the six pounder coming from Mr. Shotter. It's going to be quite uh, a little slow to get to the position. Turan's still there. No, going to keep backing away. Chippa <laughs> miraculously is still alive. Olicon's still not uh, trying to kill it. It's in range. Yeah, yeah. is still holding on. 21 to 5. Good thing he's holding on to the one flag. Otherwise the flag points will go nuts against, against him. Turan is now going to try. Go directly with the Chippa area. To the Chippa. Forcing the Olicon to back away once again. Six Panda still trailing. Still taking a while to come to the front. Six Panda. Now climbing up to the incline and now perhaps as a shot does. And takes out the turret, I believe. Boom. Now that's down. So now two pretty Pretty safe units. Oh, what the hell is that Chibba? Oh, Stuart. Oh, the Stuart's repaired from that Nat. He's repaired it and now has stolen it. Battlefield thievery. But two uh, fairly capable units on the field from Shotta that can may now make a push in the center and hold the Eastern uh, quite safely. Still from that Nat. Now stopping a uh, uh, potential assault from Shotter on the western point. Olicon moving up now closer. Surprisingly the Chepa is still alive. From that Nat. Hetzer <laughs> from that Nat. Interesting buy. Suppose it can uh, withstand a six pounder shot in frontally at max range. Oh, pretty nasty shot. Oh, unlucky from Shotter misses that. Really, very poorly aimed by the AI. Hetzer now going to return the favor, perhaps. Oh, still no. 
Oh, one shot takes it out. It's, it's still alive actually, but just been decrewed. Another shot from the HE. Misses. That, that's going to return the shot. Boom. Oh, misses. Hits it out. Misses again. Oh, another miss. What's going on? Hits it. Hits his turn. Oh, doesn't matter. Just took the shot and finishes off the six pounder. <laughs> All we got now on its own. Now going to try and run away perhaps. Hits a. Does know it's there. It's firing. Oh, no. It's not going to run away. Shot is using the rock instead to cover. Cover from the HE shot. Cheba here. Maybe it's uh, being repaired, already repaired. It can force a three cap now if it wants to. Uh, the tank situation from Shot are not looking good uh, MP wise to get a counter. Maybe even get a Staghound, Staghound six pounder, that's a bit risky. Staghound Tulip, maybe the way to go, or the Churchill 5 SP. But uh, that, that pushing on it 40 to 41 to 5. Three cap oh, is on. Oh, this Cheba is still not being killed. What's going on? Shadow moving back is Tabuk Rats. So this is the Rats. He bought the Rats at Tabuk. Okay. 2 SP. These are the higher SP, uh, higher HP units. Just with some standard. Oh no, not anymore. Interesting. Chibber finally down. Heads up. Takes out the Olicon. Hits the side here. Doesn't look good at all from Shutter. What is he going to buy next to take out the Hetzer? Or perhaps ignore the Hetzer. Center has got a lot of SMGs. Perhaps just uh, fight. You can actually fight the center to be honest. So there's nothing stopping Shutter from really putting a lot of infantry in the center and just charging. He's capping in the capping the center from the roof away now safely. All icons been taken out by the Hetzer. 400 MP, 5 SP. Perhaps just infantry is all he needs at the moment. Just ignore the Hetzer, don't buy a tank. But you can't ignore it now with this out. Perhaps just get a ooh, a light AT gun. All icon that all icon would have been so useful right now. Or maybe even just an AT rifle. Volunteer rifles. Still no counter yet for this 20mm. That's not going to route the guy capping in the center. Boom. <laughs> it's the... It's the pole. Granate book. Yep. He did try it. Move out. Keep low. There's some small skirmishes in the center. Grenade each other. <laughs> nice Molotov. Still one guy in the very corner. Yeah, no, no, no. It's going to cook this one very nicely, perhaps. No. I'm going to try again. Not much from Shutter on the other end to oppose. Uh, guys coming one by one. One SMG versus three. Six hundred forty MP. Looks like the saving is on. No, no one's really spending much. Hits a. That twenty mil has been very, very static. It's just still there. All the oh, no, oh that's why Hotchkiss is coming. Let's <laughs> move the Hotchkiss all the way. Oh, but nice Piat shot. The crews, the Hushkis, but doesn't take it out, and it's going to be crewed again. Ah, oh. and now this side maybe taken the rats of Tabuk have no chance. Oh, another Piat shot here. Hmm, what to go? He can go quite a few things. Maybe you can get a 17 pounder and an Olicon. 80, 80 gun range, 17 pounder is pretty, oh, it's very susceptible to HG shells, but it's got longer range than a mod, and it's very accurate. I think in the first shot, or second shot at least, the Hetzel will be taken out. And just the only kind to take out of these light vehicles. It's still holding okay, it looks like these guys are, can't be hit, but now that, that moving his Oscars for a shot. 
There goes the last of the squad. Oh, Firefly. Interesting camo there. Misses the shot. Can't take out. <laughs> can't take out the Hotchkiss. Heads up. <laughs> Already moving away. Now capping the point. Center being taken by Nat Nat. Uh, holding on to it. <laughs> it's, all, it's all about... Uh, this game is pretty much holding on to the eastern point for shot. I mean, just can't make... Can't uh, have it any time. Only the occasional mini skirmish in the center, but Nat Nat's been pressuring him so hard on the east and shot is forced to respond to it. Not... Not be three capped. Oh. Shut up, may get a good one. Oh, oh, Panzer Shrek. He's got the Panzer Shrek. He's gonna pick it up. I think uh, see, there's some CP capping, capping going on. Right, Nat Nat. He's got a few bit too many vehicles. AT rifle. So it's 58 to 17. Shut up needs to make a move on the center. 280 MP, definitely an all cut in my opinion. There's a patrol wouldn't be too bad as well. Pushing in a bit more. But a uh, little, little skirmish here, not really contributing much to the to the goal to the goal of getting another flag yet. Shot is moving up a bit more, just maybe to defend from a forward position. Center, what do we have here? We've got some elite infantry from the Hungarians. It'll be quite hard to push this one. A few royal guards with the Sultan. Nothing of weight yet from Shut Up. <laughs> now finally the Oli Gun's out. And uh, nothing out here. Maybe a jungle. A jungle gun will be interesting. Is it CP capped? Still got quite a few specials. Three. Now getting some single infantry just to make sure this Oli Gun is safe. As this, this area has been quite sparse on Shutter's behalf. Be a little ambush waiting for the waiting on the Oli Gun. Nothing is there. Only one guy in this house. Shut up. Rat him out. Boom. <laughs> That's pretty cool. See the Olicon coming down the center. Uh, Firefly ready to respond to the hits. Uh, this uh, must be quite uh, be quite safe. Nat uh, Nat no, 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 must be qu feeling quite safe in this game. Stuart on this side guarding this point, pretty much stopping any sort of light vehicle rush here. And the hits are throughout the whole game have been counted. Just forcing the pressure off all points by attacking the Shutters Eastern. Olicon now out, hits are coming to play. Firefly not in a position to respond though. Oh, I shouldn't need to be quick right here. And now Shutters actually looking a bit slow. I've mean, been out of practice, I know there's been a lot of interest lost in the, in the game recently by the players. They're playing player, player Battlefield Underground mostly, I think. I personally haven't played since the tournament many, uh, many, many weeks ago. Real guards ducking down. Now the infantry coming in from Shutter. Classic play. Who is that an officer? That's an officer from that. That he must have quite a bit of MP. 
a two round coming out even. Firefly coming out for shot this is a decent uh, position I guess. Oh it's the two round SPG. Damn, takes that on the first shot, bad luck shot up. Couldn't respond in the Firefly. And now back at square one, perhaps uh, now a Crusader AA 20mm might be... Did they have the Crusader AA 20mm? I don't think they do. They don't. Sniper. <laughs> is going to try a different game, I guess. Slower. A slower attritional battle. Take out the MGs with the Sniper, then push in. Sneaky guy, or the Royal Guards. Sniper. Behind the crate. Surely to be spotted soon. Sniper. Boom. Misses the first shot. And has been spotted and actually might get shot to death. Oh, she will. <laughs> oh, no, Sniper. Damn. 80 grenade! Shut up! Has taken out uh, Natetsa with and sneaky guys from somewhere. Good. Good news, but does not have him? Oh no, Nat Nat! Pentafaust! Oh, just tracks the Firefly. Perhaps another Pentafaust. Oh, misses the shot, and that second shot hits! Oh no, that was. Uh, yep. Oh, that's. The coffin and the nail, 90 MP, 3 SP. 88 17, looks like that, that may come, may win this one. Shot uh, Maybe the favourite for this one, arguably. No, quite a one sided one. So far. Oh, I dare say, I feel Anzacs are the worst nation in the game. But uh, a lot of misplays by Shoto in my opinion, misbuys, and sometimes a bit slow to react some, for some reason. We did, um, did win the last 2v2 tournament with Jutska. That's out, there you go, he's quit, so good game. That, that has won the first one, and let's see if Shoto can come back.